Hi everybody. Um, I've had a lot of questions um, about this project that I posted um, a couple of days ago, so I thought I would run through it and show you how easy these are. Okay, I'm going to make um, a Daffodil Delight uh, Curvy Keepsake Box. Um, I'm sure that you have seen this framelit. It comes like this, and you actually need to do two of them. So I have already done that. Let's see if I can get all of my stuff organized here. And I don't know if you notice, but it has some spots on it. And to do that, I used our circle mask. It's right here. It's actually called Dots and Stripes. Um, you get two. They're very cheap, $2.95. So I'm going to use this one. I think this is something overlooked in the catalog quite a bit, um, but it, it's definitely worth it. All right, so I'm just going to lay this over and I'm gonna draw a circle, and then I'm just gonna scribble, scribble, scribble. We learned this, I believe, at convention. We saw one of the concept artists doing this, and I thought, oh my gosh, that is so smart and so easy. So I'm just gonna go through here and fill in all of these circles. You don't have to do the bottom, of course, because it's gonna sit on the bottom. And um, one thing I do notice when I do these, I like for my scribbles, whoops, my scribbles to all go the same direction. So um, when I, I don't want to scribble this way and then scribble this way, um, but whatever you decide to do, just do it the same way on all of the circles. All right, and there you have it. Another way to do this, like I did on this one, is just to do your dauber in those circles. And um, that is, it's faster that way, but I think I like this way better. All right, now we need to assemble our Kirby Keepsake box, and I already have, have done the other one. So I uh, like Fast Fuse for this, or Sticky Strip. A snail will not hold these together, believe me. I have uh, tried it. And then I'm going to get my bone folder and I'm just going to kind of curl these a little bit. And I notice here that my framelit did not cut all the way through. I have a big shot that is, um, it's very old and I think it's kind of losing its, its edge. But I'm just going to pick that out right there. Make sure when you use this framelit to poke out any paper that's left over um, inside. Let's see if I can show you. So right here you can see there's some paper in there. That will prevent that from cutting all the way through. So push all that out. Sometimes I have it here too so that you can get a good cut on your Curvy Keepsake box. All right, so now I've curled those and I'm going to bend this, these little handles backwards. And I'm going to put this like this together. I'm going to fold this one over and I would put my candy in and fold it over. I just bought some spring mix of Hershey's chocolates. All right, so now we've got the box. Now we need to cut out this butterfly. And um, these are in the Occasions Catalog, page 26, and they come in a bundle with a stamp set. So make sure you look at the bundle price. It saves you some money. And if you haven't seen already, the best way to cut out these intricate framelits is to lay down a dryer sheet on your Big Shot platform, then your cardstock, and lay your die or your framelit, thinlet, on top run it through, and then when you peel this off, all of those little dots stay there, so you don't have to punch them all out. There are a few that might stick, but they come out really easily. That um, dryer sheet has been a lifesaver. All right, so the, uh, there's another framelit. There's three, but this is the smaller one, and I cut that out of white vellum right here, and I'm gonna use glue dots to put this guy on top of the bigger guy. I just put two glue dots there in the middle and I uh, attached it like that. Now I'm going to take my scissors and just cut them in half. I know it's hard, you don't want to do it, but it's all right. And then I'm going to kind of bend this guy a little bit so that he's sticking up kind of. And this guy like that too. Okay, now I'm going to come over here and I use glue dots too for this. Um, I'm lazy and glue dots are easy. They, it might be better to use um, something a little bit stronger, um, but I uh, was making a bunch of these for a craft fair and <laughs> was lazy. I didn't want to take the time to use something 
liquid or um, a little more messy. All right, so there you have that. And you can see what I did is I put it on either side of that slit. So when I open it, the butterfly is not destroyed. He's right there, okay? Now, for the sentiment, it's from that same butterfly stamp set. Can't remember what it's called, Butterfly Basics. I stamped it on Whisper White and Daffodil Delight. And then I cut it out. This is a frame tag framelit from the gift card uh, thinlet set. And I'm going to take a dimensional and I'm going to put this just kind of sticking off of that wing right there. And then I'm going to tie a bow. And I'm going to show you how to tie bows because I get lots of questions about tying bows too. Um, I think the, the thing to keep in mind is to not pull it tight until you have these about the size you want. You see how I can kind of adjust those? And then when I think I have it just right, I'll pull it tight. And then cut those off. Get another glue dot. My glue dots have disappeared. Here they are. They've become camouflaged. So used to seeing them. And then I'm going to put that right there. And there you have it. Really easy and a fast. If you need to make a bunch of something, you guys know I do not like mass producing. But this was easy. Um, so I did Daffodil Delight, Pumpkin Pie, Rich Razzleberry, Strawberry Slush, because I like to use, I like the monochromatic look, and, and we had the twine for that. And also Coastal Cabana with a Coastal Cabana um, twine. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.